so we know that the hyoid bone divides the neck spaces into suprahyoid neck space and infrahyoid neck space so we have seen how the suprahyoid neck space is divided now we'll see how the infrahyoid neck space is divided and also we know one thing very clearly that the deep cervical fascia is responsible for the division of the infrahyoid as well as suprahyoid neck spaces then again the previously we discussed the deep cervical fascia has three components the superficial component the middle component and the deeper component so three components are present now if you see this image we we can see that the outermost layer is the skin and deeper to that we have the subcutaneous uh, fat if we see deeper to that we can see that there is one thin muscle which is deeper to the subcutaneous fat outer to the deep cervical fascia this is nothing but the platysma so this muscle is the platysma now if we see the superficial uh, layer of of the deep cervical fascia we can see that the superficial layer is colored yellow and we can see it is investing uh, the sternocleidomastoid muscle the trapezius muscle and the strap muscle the infrahyoid strap muscles and in between it forms a, a layer in between it joins and forms a single layer so this is a layer which is a single uh, the two membrane layer which goes invests multiple muscles and move on at this area we can see that it is just forming a roof of a space now this space is nothing but the posterior cervical space or the posterior triangle of the neck the posterior triangle of the neck or the posterior uh, cervical space uh, how we divide here now this is uh, uh, roofed by this superficial layer of the deep cervical fascia now if you see deeper to this muscle layer we can see here something which is surrounding the trachea now trachea is made up of cartilage uh, which is a c-shaped cartilage and muscle posteriorly so that is a trachea and surrounding it is this thyroid gland with a few small parathyroid glands four of them uh, uh, superior and inferior a total four of them present and we can see here is the esophagus present and there will be uh, some nerves which are present in which will be passing between the esophagus and the trachea nothing but the phrenic nerve and also uh, this entire layer which is including the thyroid gland parathyroid gland trachea and esophagus is covered by a layer of uh, the deep cervical fascia it's the middle layer of deep cervical fascia because it is covering all the organs it is called as the visceral layer or the middle layer of the deep cervical fascia and as usual we know that surrounding the vertebral body and the muscles around the vertebral body is a deep layer of the deep cervical fascia again it is divided by a layer of fascia into pre-vertebral component as well as a paravertebral component and this division is done by this slip of uh, the fascia uh, which divides it into two now the space which is present behind this visceral fascia is nothing but the, the retropharyngeal space and behind that we have a layer of fascia which we called as alar fascia which behind the alar fascia whatever the space is called as a danger space now both the retropharyngeal and the danger space will extend up to t3 vertebral body and deeper to this uh, the deep layer of the deep cervical fascia we have the prevertebral space this prevertebral space extends all the way into uh, thorax so that's an important point to be remembered so out of all these uh, spaces uh, we, we already discussed that these spaces the deep spaces extend that is the retropharyngeal space the danger space and the prevertebral space all three of them extend even to the suprahyoid uh, region
Also, we see here the carotid space, as I told before, it is made up of all three components, the superficial component, the middle component, and the deep component of the deep cervical fascia. So, uh, that is the carotid space. Now, as we discussed before, in the suprahyoid spaces, only two spaces here are present exclusively for the infrahyoid space, which is not extending into suprahyoid space that is this visceral space as well as the posterior cervical space so this uh, is how the infrahyoid spaces are divided so this is one more image which is showing the infrahyoid region uh, in this image we can see this uh, this is uh, the the larynx and the tracheal region we give here we can see the the cricoid cartilages which have uh, are calcified and here are the the, th the part of the superior part of the thyroid gland that we can see uh, and this entire space here is called as a visceral space and the posterior to the uh, uh, larynx or the thyroid will be the esophagus and this way the esophagus is present now this muscle which we see here is nothing but the sternocleidomastoid which is covered by the superficial layer of the uh, deep cervical fish and outside this we saw uh, one muscle that is nothing but the platysma that is the small muscle that we are seeing deeper to this fat deeper to the subcutaneous fat now posteriorly if you see there are uh, two muscles at the posterior most end and that is the trapezius muscle and around the vertebral body we have this paraspinal uh, muscles and again it is divided into this pre uh, this entire thing is called as a prevertebral space it is divided into prevertebral component and the paraspinal component now by a layer of uh, the the fascia now if you see here this structure is nothing but the anterior scalenus this is the middle scalenus and there will be a posterior scalenus as well not seen that clearly now this space here which is made up of fat which is going in between uh, the the trapezius posteriorly the sternocleidomastoid anteriorly this space is called as the posterior neck uh, space or the posterior cervical space now anteriorly we see in front of this uh, trachea and uh, uh, the medial to the sternocleidomastoid this space is called as the anterior cervical space and this dense structure is nothing but the contrast that we see here uh, is the carotid space that we are seeing so in, uh, it is important to note that parapharyngeal space is one space which doesn't extend uh, below the hyoid bone this image is again showing us that the prevertebral the deep space the retropharyngeal space extends all the way from the suprahyoid uh, region to the infrahyoid whereas this space uh, that is the visceral space is only extending uh, from the in, in the in the it's only seen in the infrahyoid region it includes uh, the thyroid gland the trachea and posterior to the trachea we have the esophagus so this entire thing that we see here uh, shows how the infrahyoid uh, region is present and uh, we can see that only the visceral space is exclusively uh, present in the infrahyoid uh, space and the anterior and posterior cervical spaces are only exclusively present in the infrahyoid region whereas uh, if you see the rest of the spaces uh, extend both infra as well as the suprahyoid spaces so this is all about uh, the neck spaces